Happy birthday. Congratulations. I did it. Yeah, happy birthday, son. Yeah, you get to make a wish. I wish for... Shh, shh, shh. You don't have to tell us, honey. No, it's okay. I want you to hear it. I wish for a good mark on the government examination next week. What's wrong? Did I say something? Oh, no, honey, not at all. It's just that you didn't have to use up your birthday wish on that. You'll do fine on the exam. You shouldn't even be thinking about it. But everybody at school's been talking about it, and three or four kids have already taken the test, and they said it was real easy. I just want to do well and make you proud of me. We are proud of you, Dickie. Terribly proud. And we love you, son. Oh, you're 12 years old today. That's... You're almost a man. And this is a day for celebration. We're not going to worry about anything. But I'm not worried. I just said the examination is supposed to be real easy. And I get good marks in school. Then let's just drop it, honey. Why don't you cut your cake and then we'll open your present, okay? Sure, okay, Mom. <laughs> Here it comes. Close your eyes. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh, an Omnicoder! <laughs> Dad! Oh. Mom! Uh, this is great. Is it really mine? It's all yours, Dickie. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, boy. I can call my friends and uh -huh. I can... I can... Wait a minute. I thought you said I had to be 14. The government changed its regulations last month. We were hoping that you hadn't heard about it yet. Of course, you won't be assigned a number until you've passed the examination. Dad, what is the government examination for exactly? It's just an intelligence test. The government wants to know how smart you are, Dickie, that's all. Is it like a test at school? Sort of. Why don't you watch TV until bedtime? I'd rather read. There's nothing good on TV tonight. Stop worrying about it. You'll do fine. I can't help worrying. Keep your voice down. There's no need to upset him. Richard? He's not like the other kids. He'll do fine. Fine. <laughs> Why did it have to rain today? Rain makes the grass grow, son. But why today, when I get the whole afternoon off after the exam? I wanted to go to the park and then maybe even the zoo. Well, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes it has to rain. Well, it could always rain at night. Sometimes it does. I know. Could I get my Omnicoder number this afternoon? And then if it's still raining after school, I can call my friends. Could I, Dad? We'll see, Dickie. Ready? I'm ready. Good luck, Dickie. Don't worry, Mom. I'll do well, I promise. I won't let you down. I know you won't, sweetie. I know you won't. I love you, Dickie. I love you so much. It's time, son.
please? Richard Jordan, Jr. But everybody calls me Dickie. Fine, Dickie. Your identification number is 600115. You can wait over there until your name is called. Richard Jordan, Jr. Richard Jordan, Jr. Are you going to wait here? No, that's not the way it works, son. They'll call us at home in a few hours. Richard Jordan, Jr.? Here. It's Dickie, right? Follow me, Dickie. Good luck, son. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry, Dad. I'll, I'll do well. I really will. Richard. Jordan Jr. Identification number 600115. Right. Drink this, Dickie. This isn't exactly like the test you take in school, Dickie. The liquid you've just drunk is to make sure you answer all the questions as truthfully as you can. But why wouldn't I? The government doesn't think you wouldn't, Dickie. The liquid is just to make sure. You can sit over here for a moment while I set up the examination. some questions. Think them over very carefully, then speak your answers aloud. You won't have to use the keyboard at all. I'm going to leave you alone. When you're ready to begin, just say, ready. You understand? Yes, sir. Good luck, Dickie. Ready. Complete the sequence of numbers. One, four, seven, ten. Yes, hello? Mr. and Mrs. Richard Jordan, please. Yeah, uh, speaking. Here. This is the Government Educational Service calling. Your son, Richard Jordan Jr., has completed the government examination, and the results have been analyzed. We regret to inform you your son's intelligence quotient has exceeded the government standard according to Rule 84, Section 5 of the new code. You may specify now whether you wish his body interred by the government or would you prefer a private burial? No! 